Welcome to another episode of Adventure Sphere. Today I'll be covering Saul Vasquez Lopez, a man missing from Dallas, Texas. But first, become part of our family by subscribing to our channel, stay up to date by ringing the notification bell, and share content to help spread awareness of how we can help recover missing loved ones free of charge. You never know who may see it, how hurt their heart may be if their family is incomplete, or how you may be a hero to them. Information shared in this episode is open sourced. The places I mention are shared with my blessing, so Saul can be reunited with his family, regardless who higher powers work through. The description box has our email address if you'd like to share insight on any cold case, know someone missing with a vehicle and would like them featured on our channel and searched for, or to donate equipment. The video of Google Earth has a measurement from a starting point theory or known location and goes out to possible search areas. We focus on bodies of water within five miles from home, their last cell phone ping, last known location, and sentimental sites where water is deep enough to hide a vehicle. If an area has been heavily searched, we may expand the search area, but please keep in mind that accidents tend to happen closer to home. Sal Vasquez Lopez, then 45, is missing from Dallas, Texas. His last date of contact was July 1st, 2019. He was seen by his family the summer of 2019 when he left his brother's home in Goodyear, Arizona in his vehicle. Sal brought about a half of his property with him and left the rest behind at his brother's. Since then, his vehicle was re-registered in Dallas, Texas in July of 2019. The last sighting of his vehicle was November 4th, 2020, near the intersection of West Madison and South College Street in Waxahachie, Texas. Waxahachie, Texas. There were several other license plate readers that were hit in the Dallas Fort Worth area. I don't know if those hits were before or after his sighting. I'm assuming it was before. He has a background in electrical engineering, but was most recently working in manual labor jobs before his disappearance. I don't know if he had some sort of a technical engineering license that maybe was lapsed if he didn't have it paid for current or if he needed to get a different exam for the state so he'd change jobs i'm just speculating uh saul also has ties to california he drives a dark blue 2005 honda crv texas license plate mjc 2610 it has since expired and has not been renewed the Goodyear, Arizona Police Department can be reached at 623-882-7448. They are investigating, but it's hard for them to investigate across state lines. Saul and his family need our help. Waxahachie is about 27 miles from Dallas. The closest area I could find from the camera sighting was Lake Waxahachie, that's 3.4 miles from the last time he was seen on camera, and the South Prong Creek. Then the video, I start heading back toward Dallas, think he might, he might have finished working there for the day and was heading back home. If he made it to Dallas, he could, I don't know his exact street, street address there, but the best contenders I could find would be Lake Cliff Park, the Trinity River, Mountain Creek Lake, Joe Pool Lake, Lake Arlington, Lake Viridian and the adjacent ponds, Grapevine Lake, and Levon Lake. If you like this episode and haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel, give our video a thumbs up, and share the movement with those you influence. Feel free to Email us for equipment donations, cold case information, and to feature a missing person with a vehicle. You're all so great at helping me grow this channel. Truly from the bottom of my heart, thank you. 100% of the donations received stay in the organization to help purchase sonar equipment and other necessities that will help families, 
law enforcement, and the environment for years to come. Your contributions from subscribing, watching our content, liking and sharing to financial support make it possible to offer our services free of charge. I've gotten a few emails from families of missing people who thought their loved ones were forgotten, but they see the movement. And just please know that ultimately we want to live a ro road warrior lifestyle and reunite families with their missing loved ones. We'll spend summers in the northern states, winters in the southern, so we're always moving and being able to focus on a person at a time. Our first giveaway will occur when we reach 300 subscribers. We're almost there. You must be subscribed to win. Immediate donation links are in the description. Kickstarter and GoFundMe campaigns are coming soon. The video will play so you can see the entire search area. If you see something that I missed, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and remember that we love you.